All right, Cancer, let's get into love energy for you. Some of you could be dealing with the court. Don't have to be. You could be dealing with some sort of legal, legal matter. Some of you could also be working on making your dreams come true. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's coming in for you, Cancer. What's the energy here in this dynamic, in this connection? Cold shoulder. Somebody here could be feeling ignored or rejected. Okay. If some of you are going through some sort of legal matter, it could be something here where you're feeling alone. This could be like a divorce or something. What did I just say? Oh my goodness. Some of you are getting a divorce. Whoa. Okay. Some of you are feeling really alone. You could also be feeling ignored or rejected by someone. I'm yawning. So I feel like whatever you've been through could have really exhausted you, depleted you. So if you are getting divorced, you're feeling exhausted. <clears throat> Energy coming in. Denial. Needing to detach to see something clearly. Needing to decide what you want to do. I feel like some of you could have two relationships. You could be letting one go, but you could also be having interest in someone else. Who are you feeling ignored by? Who are you feeling ignored by? Who's cancer feeling ignored by? Someone here that you could want to give to. Something here about giving equally, but there could be timing. Timing could be an issue. Things did not turn in your favor. So here's the thing. Some of you could be getting divorced or some of you have got some sort of legal matter going on behind the scenes. Whatever you're wanting to give to and love, you're feeling ignored or rejected by. It's because you want to give to it. You want to put in the effort, the time, the dedication, but there could be something here where it's not the time. You're feeling really called to take action, but there could be something here where you could have taken premature action and now you're seeing that there, there's an in and out inconsistent energy. Is what I'm getting. So why are you feeling rejected? Were some of you not honest when it comes to making a choice or what you were doing? Because I'm saying it. Some of you could have wanted to give to someone but not wanted to tell them everything that was going on. Yeah. And there could have been something here. You Somebody could be spying as well. But somebody could have gave a message of truth or a message of bad news. Yeah. And it could have been something here about an unbalanced energy. <clears throat> Wanting to take a leap and a risk to have a new beginning. So what I'm getting is that some of you, or this could be someone towards you. Someone here wanted equal give and take, but could have approached prematurely. Someone here could have wanted to not let all their secrets and business be known, be talked about. But doing that could have made someone put up a boundary. There could be a very unbalanced energy going on. So this, whatever this dynamic is that you're feeling ignored or rejected by, there's not stability here. That's what I'm saying. Okay. <clears throat> What's the overall energy? This current moment. Yeah, not feeling passion. Feeling a lack of creativity. So you are going through a lot of majors major changes and transformation. It's lining you up to be who you're authentically meant to be. But I do feel like this transition is really hard for you. Give me more for the current moment that you're going through. Yeah, three of pentacles. Something here about collaboration making a choice, making a decision. You're at a crossroads. How do you want to move forward? So a lot of you are, how do you want to move forward? So Cancer, you could have recently closed a door, closed a path, or you're about to. You could also be feeling ignored or rejected to someone external to you. Someone where you might have not really been honest with this person, or you might have not really opened up to this person, and there is a lack of of loyalty and a lack of stability. I do know I do know that you want to give to this person, but you feeling like you couldn't open to this open up to this person is a red flag to me. Why did you feel like you couldn't open up to this person? Why did you feel like you couldn't tell this person what was going on? 
and confide in them. And I do feel like it's time for you to decide, do you want to continue to give this your effort? Because if you constantly feel depleted, and again, in your energy now, you're feeling a lack of passion, a lack of creativity, you're just kind of over it at this point, the best thing you can do is focus on movement forward and how to get yourself to a place of peace. So that is a recommendation. But you do have someone attached to you that's a little aloof. What's the challenge right now for you when it comes to love? Not of cups. Maybe offering love, getting love, changing your perspective. Maybe there's something you're also stuck on. Hold on. Let's see what this one is. Not of wands. See, okay. The challenge could be the way that you're showing up. The challenge could be an energy here of offering things. Yeah, see, okay, Cancer, you're giving off a, a guarded, defensive, I can't really let you in energy. It's like you want to maybe get back out there, date. You're feeling maybe called to offer someone something or multiple people something. But there's also something here where you might need to focus on your independence, your confidence, and your abundance when it comes to being able to take a leap. It's like you want to date, but you don't want to date to commit or to, to get married. And there's nothing wrong with that, but in the same instance, if you're out there dating these people, they might be out there dating to marry or to be in a commitment. And it's kind of a waste of time. So the challenge could be that what you want to do and what you're capable of do, what you're wanting to do and what you're capable of doing right now are going to be two different things. And you need to make sure you're not... Overly extending yourself. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. See, for some of you, you're going to want to take a leap towards someone. And that could be the challenge. Is that you want to take a leap or a risk towards someone that you're feeling very passionate towards. You want to offer them something. Why would this be a challenge? This person could be very confident, abundant, independent. Five of Pentacles. There could be something here, though, where this isn't it. You could get to... Page of Pentacles. There needs to be a conversation here that needs to be had. Message of truth. This person already knows, just to let you know. You made a final decision. Here's the thing, Cancer. The challenge is, is I think the person you want to go after or that you're going to feel called to go after is not who you're supposed to be with. And maybe you're in denial about that. Maybe this person's giving you the cold shoulder and you're needing to recognize. Page of Cups. <clears throat> Five of Cups. That there's some sense of sadness and disappointment here. And you're needing to decide, are you willing to continue to put the effort and the time in? So, should Cancer give in to this connection? Because I feel like this is someone you want, but I feel like they're not giving you the time of day. Ask yourself, is this fair? Is this just? Why is this person not really giving you the time of day? Or why is there a five of pentacles energy? There's something here where there's a lack. That person's very stable, very grounded. Okay, it could have maybe not went past page energy. But why is there a five of pentacles? Not of cups. There's an indulgence energy here. So here's the thing. I feel like you are, I'm going to say it, I feel like you have fantasized someone to be better than they are. There's someone you're energetically attached to. And you're going through a huge life shift or life change. Some of you could be getting a divorce or ending some sort of contract or you're having to get a lawyer. There's someone you're energetically attached to that you feel like is ignoring you or rejecting you. This person is aloof. You're at a place right now where you're feeling a lack of passion. And there's something that this person's making you feel. This person could have very inconsistent energy. They could be a little bit of a player. They could be in and out. They don't have to be. I just feel like there's something here where you like the way this person's showing up. They're confident, they're independent, they're abundant, and you're wanting to give them something. But there is something here where you're needing to recognize that you are a fish out of water when it comes to this person, how to deal with this person. 
And I do feel like in your mind, this would be a wish fulfillment, but I do feel like you're a little bit over fantasizing what a wish fulfillment would look like. It's kind of like when you get this person, they're not as good as what you think they are. And I don't, I'm not saying that to be mean. It's just like, at the end of the day, there is a lack of stability here. It's like, at th this is what you want. You want this person. And I feel like you're so keen and set on that. You're not even asking yourself, is this fair? Is this the kind of dynamic I want to give to? Because if we're being honest, you overgive when it comes to this person. And there could be an indulgence energy of, but this is what I want. And it kind of like, be careful what you wish for. What did I just say? Three of Swords, sadness and disappointment. Give cancer advice. Look at the investment. You've been empty handed when it comes to this person. Listening to your intuition. You're going to take some sort of action to communicate with this person. I see it. I see you being discontent. I just don't. What's going to happen here? Hold on. What's going to happen here? This is a very difficult dynamic. What's going to happen in this dynamic? New adventure, putting yourself out there. There will be an unknown outcome. <clears throat> so it's unknown. For each of you, it could be different. But we do need to recognize here that you're needing to decide whether or not you want to continue to put in the effort with this person. Why do you want to go after this person so bad? And then I want to see how that person feels for you. The Hierophant. Beliefs, values, morals, or something traditional. What does this person think about you, Cancer? What does this person think about you? See, they're on the fence about even giving. They're on the fence about even giving. They're open to chatting, but it's like this person doesn't really want to give. What do they want to give to you? They don't really see success and victory. They'll communicate with you. Upright only. Okay, that one come in the reverse. Lack of investment. Why does this person not want to invest? Not reflecting. There could be stability here, but... There could need to be some sort of tower or transformation that's going to take place, and this person's not really doing it. Yeah, differences of opinion, conflict, petty arguments, petty gossip. There will be a path being chosen here. So you're dealing with someone who doesn't really want to open up to you. This person will not self-reflect, and this person does not want to invest. I see you putting yourself out there, but I also see that you might get rejected, Cancer. Or this could be someone coming towards you, and it could be unexpected, and then you could get rejected. Let's get one of these. Give me this dynamic. Needing to decide what you want to do. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. There will be a conversation here taking place. Getting to know one another. Go ahead and make the gesture. Okay, so again, someone here is wanting to make some sort of gesture. But I feel like even if someone does it, I don't feel like it's going to turn out the way that you want it to. I feel like there is chemistry I'm telling you, I feel like this is, this is a really weird reading. So, hold on a minute. We're going to throw all that over there. Why is this person so guarded when it comes to cancer? What, what, what is it? Why is this person so guarded? Justice. Lack of balance, lack of healing. I also get that this person can have a mindset or a thought when it comes to what is justice, what is fair for them. And for some reason, you don't really fit that mold, that form. So it's like this person isn't really wanting to be open-minded, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah, something here about maybe the time not being right. Can this grow? Will Can this or will this grow to something? I don't 
think it will. We have a lot of swords. That's overthinking. And that could be even an energy here of someone not accepting an offer. Feeling really discontent. Maybe even feeling bored with what is offered. There is some sort of blockage here. There is some sort of blockage. I don't know if this is actually going to go anywhere. Yeah, I see talking, conversing. I'm going to be honest. I don't think this is going to go anywhere. Either Cancer, this is someone that's crazy about you or you're crazy about them. But someone's giving you the cold shoulder. And I feel like you could need to recognize that there is an energy here where someone could be wanting to control this dynamic. And the other person is trying to push. I feel like someone's trying to push you away, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah, this person could hide who they are from you. That's what I'm saying. And I feel like you could, in your mind, feel like this is, like, such an amazing person. And I'm not saying that it isn't. I'm just saying that who you think this person is isn't necessarily who they are. I can't get enough of you. Okay, so someone's energy here is just like, but, yeah, I can't be with you. See, that's what I'm saying. One person is like, I can't get enough of you. And the other one's like, okay, back up. I, this is not happening. I don't think this is really going to go anywhere. I feel you leaving me behind. See, this one's I don't think this is going to go anywhere. But someone's going to make some sort of gesture. Someone's going to approach. Because they miss being with you. But there is something here where I feel, I just feel like this is something here where it's like, Cancer, this is you going after someone or vice versa. Someone really likes the other person. But the other person is like, yeah, I don't know about it. And there is an energy here where one person has made the other one. There's a fantasy in one person's mind about how this is going to happen, who that person is. Someone's going to take a risk, but I don't think it's going to work out. What I'm seeing is that there can be maybe a lot of overthinking on one person's part. And again, something here about an indulgence energy. Maybe you needing to realize that, yeah, they seem like they're a wish fulfillment, but they're not truly... They're not going to be loyal to you the way you want someone to be loyal to you. Why? Because they're not your person. I think you want this person to be your person, and I think they care for you. But I think when it comes to getting further than just like a page or a night, that's where things really go into a cluster. This person, I'm just going to be honest with you. I just really feel like at the end of the day, you need to see the lack here. And I do see you lacking some sort of passion or some sort of spark. So, someone's going to take some sort of action. I don't think it's going to work out. But, I mean, it just kind of is what it is. Okay, I'm going to leave this here. I hope this helped. This felt really confusing for me. So, this is going to be a very confusing dynamic. But it is about to work itself out where there is no more confusion to anyone. I do feel like there will be some sort of rejection that will take place. And the person who just can't get enough of the other one is maybe going to recognize, oh, this isn't what I thought it was. But I do feel like that conversation could maybe unfold naturally where someone makes a gesture because they feel like the bond has deepened enough to make that gesture. But then I also think in the future, there will be recognition that what was fair was it not balancing out. Because even if it was balanced, it wouldn't necessarily be stable. It would lack a sense of loyalty. Loyalty you want from your partner. And we can only feel that for certain people. People that we have a true soul bond with. And I feel like that's why you need to detach so you can clearly see what this is. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. Have a blessed day.